Over the past few years, humanoid robots have been popping up everywhere. They walk the runway, perform martial arts, bow to audiences under bright stage lights, and get praised by the media as the future of humanity. At first glance, it all looks amazing. But if you pause for a second and ask a simpler question, what do these robots actually do for your everyday life? The answer is usually silence. Most humanoid robots today, especially those coming out of China, exist mainly to look good in marketing videos and tech expos. They're designed to create a wow effect, to look and move like humans, but not to actually live with humans. Once the stage lights go off, they don't cook, they don't clean, they don't guard your house, and they can't really replace any repetitive job in real life. And that's exactly where Tesla Bot Gen 3 shows up in a completely different way. No flash, no performances, no trying to prove how human it looks. Tesla treats robots as real, working tools, the same way they approached electric cars and self-driving AI. Quiet, extremely practical, and moving at an insanely fast pace. This is what they started in 2021, and this is where we are today. Elon Musk has said many times that Optimus isn't a humanoid robot built just for show. Sure, it can dance if you want, but in the end, it's meant to clean your house when you're busy. That's when humans are freed up and having a job becomes optional. Elon Musk believes there are at least four reasons why Optimus will convince customers and anyone who doesn't own one will seriously regret it. So yes, mass production and sales of the Tesla bot next year are a deliberate move to push it straight into human living spaces, doing housework, helping with cooking, and even acting as a smart home security guard. This isn't some distant sci-fi future. It's a concrete plan for 2026. So why should you buy a Tesla bot? And how is it actually useful for humans? The truth is, when you put Tesla bot Gen 3 next to Chinese humanoid robots, the difference becomes obvious. One side is technology made for display. The other is technology built to change how people work and live. Just looking at the design alone, you can clearly see a huge gap in refinement and overall finish. China has never really been strong at design. Even their electric cars tend to look kind of awkward. Okay, the first reason you should own a Tesla bot is simple. It cleans your house. Yeah, mopping the floors, vacuuming, washing dishes, mowing the lawn, cleaning windows, folding laundry. You'd actually be surprised when you come home. You know, what really makes Tesla Bot Gen 3 different isn't how human it looks, it's that it's designed to understand how a house actually works. And there's no task that exposes that more clearly than cleaning an entire living space, a sequence of jobs that sounds simple but is incredibly complex for a humanoid robot. To truly clean a home, a robot needs more than just movement. It has to recognize objects, make judgments, interact physically with precision, and most importantly, avoid putting people or property at risk. This is exactly where most humanoid robots today, especially Chinese ones, show their weaknesses. They can hold a broom, but they don't understand which surfaces are fragile. They can wipe floors, but can't tell the difference between carpet, wood, or tile. They can move, but not smoothly enough to survive in a tight living space full of obstacles. Tesla bot approaches this problem in a completely different way. It isn't programmed to clean. It's trained to understand a living environment. All of its cleaning ability comes from the coordination between sensors, a multi-angle camera system, high-precision mechanical hands, and a movement speed that's fast enough to be efficient, but still safe inside a home. First is spatial awareness. Tesla Bot uses a camera system based on the same vision-first philosophy Tesla applies to its cars. Instead of relying on expensive LiDAR or pre-built maps, the robot learns to see the house in real time. It recognizes floors, walls, furniture, decorations, and even small things like cables, pets, or kids' toys. This is critical, because cleaning isn't a fixed, repetitive task in a static environment. Every day, the house changes. Okay, but Tesla Bot is a lot smarter than you might think. Once it understands the space, it goes a step further and evaluates how dirty things are and what kind of surface it's dealing with. This is where show-off robots usually fall short. Cleaning wood floors isn't the same as cleaning tile. Wiping a glass table isn't the same as wiping a kitchen counter. By combining visual data with force sensors in its hands, Optimus can adjust pressure, hand speed, and movement paths, just enough to clean thoroughly without damaging surfaces. It may sound like a small detail, but for older adults, a group Tesla is quietly targeting. This is the difference between a helpful assistant and a constant headache. The hands of the Tesla bot are one of its most critical features. 
Unlike many Chinese humanoid robots that use crude grippers or purely demonstrative hands, Optimus's hands are built for real work. You know, it's currently the only humanoid robot in the world with 22 degrees of freedom in its hands. When cleaning, the robot needs to know how to hold a cloth, wring it out, change contact points, fold the cleaning surface, and even put the cloth back in the right place when it's done. Each of these actions requires extremely fine coordination between fingers, wrists, and arms, something Tesla has invested heavily in, because they understand that household labor is never rough work. Its movement speed, up to 4.5 miles per hour, matters more than people realize. In a home setting, speed isn't about running. It's about time efficiency. A slow, clumsy cleaning robot quickly becomes useless, especially in larger homes. Tesla Bot is fast enough to move efficiently between rooms, yet tightly controlled to avoid collisions. When it detects people or pets nearby, the system automatically slows down and adjusts its path, something most performance-focused robots today simply can't do without remote supervision. More importantly, it's the continuity of the work. Tesla Bot doesn't clean in a once-it's-done-it's-done way. It remembers. It learns a family's habits, which areas get dirty faster, what times it should clean without getting in the way, and which spaces need extra care. Over time, the robot doesn't just clean, it cleans the right way, at the right time, and to the right degree. This is the fundamental difference between practical AI and performance AI. When you compare it to Chinese humanoid robots, the gap becomes obvious. Most of those robots need pre-written scripts, staged environments, and human intervention. They can clean a small area for a video, but they can't be responsible for an entire house day after day, week after week, for years. Tesla Bot is designed for exactly that scenario. Repetitive, durable, and reliable. The second reason Elon Musk believes people will be excited about owning Optimus is its ability to monitor and protect the home, instead of relying on a bunch of wasteful security cameras. Optimus can understand and protect humans within their own private space. You know, this is an area very few humanoid robots even dare to touch. Because it doesn't just require good hardware, it demands AI that's mature enough to tell right from wrong, normal from abnormal, harmless from dangerous. This is a continuous process of observation, behavior analysis, learning over time, and controlled response. Optimus doesn't just see a stranger, it has to understand what that person is doing, why they're there, and whether their behavior crosses a safety threshold. This is exactly where Tesla's AI training really shows its strength. Tesla Bot Gen 3 is built on the same computer vision and reinforcement learning foundation that Tesla has developed for years through its self-driving system. That means the robot isn't just recognizing faces or movements, it's learning behavior patterns. Someone standing at your front door for a few seconds to ring the bell is normal, but someone pacing back and forth, checking cameras, looking for blind spots, or trying the door handle, that's a completely different behavior. This kind of distinction can't be hard-coded with a few rigid lines of logic. It only comes from training on massive amounts of data and real-world scenarios. Tesla. Bot's cameras function like living eyes. They don't just record video. They continuously evaluate context, lighting, time of day, surrounding space, and the relationships between objects in the frame. Combined with motion and audio sensors, Optimus can detect abnormal signs very early, often before humans even notice. More importantly, the robot doesn't overreact. It assesses the level of risk and chooses an appropriate response, alert, monitor, or intervene. Yeah, with an indoor movement speed of up to 4.5 miles per hour, the robot can quickly reach areas where there's potential risk while still keeping a safe distance from people. The key point is that Tesla didn't design Optimus as an enforcement robot. It isn't built to attack or cause harm. Instead, every action is centered around prevention, deterrence, and protection. For example, when Optimus detects an intruder, it can issue voice warnings using the integrated Grok voice, while simultaneously notifying the homeowner or even law enforcement. The physical presence alone of a robot equipped with eight 2D cameras is already a powerful deterrent. This helps explain why, at a Tesla shareholder meeting, Elon Musk made a controversial but thought-provoking statement. Instead of locking people in prisons, society could eventually move toward a different model, one where offenders are released but constantly monitored by Optimus, preventing them from committing crimes again. What do you think about Elon Musk's statement? Okay, as you can probably see, 
most Chinese robots stop at basic motion or facial recognition. They lack the ability to analyze behavior over time, lack real-world training data, and most importantly, lack the capacity to make independent decisions in ambiguous situations. If cleaning and home security show that Tesla Bot Gen 3 can take care of your living space, then cooking is the real stress test. And it's also the biggest reason you'd want to own an Optimus. Cooking isn't a sequence of repetitive motions. It's a constant combination of perception, judgment, fine motor control, and real-time adjustment. And that's exactly why Tesla sees the kitchen as the final arena for humanoid robots. According to what Elon Musk has shared, Tesla Bot Gen 3, expected to launch in February next year, will be the first truly complete version capable of handling up to 100 expanded tasks per day, thanks to its ability to self-learn and imitate human behavior. Musk is confident that Optimus won't just cook everyday meals, but can even prepare breakfast like a real human housekeeper. The current Optimus 5 2.5 already shows a major leap in design and overall build quality. The outer shell is smoother, joints are more cleanly covered, exposed wiring is reduced, and the design language has shifted from rough and mechanical to rounded and friendly. The robot now looks like a product close to being sold, rather than an experimental prototype. On top of that, Optimus has been integrated with Grok, the voice assistant from XAI. While its responses are still a bit slow and sometimes awkward, this marks an important milestone. The robot has begun communicating in natural language, an absolutely essential capability in a kitchen environment. Gen 3 will have a major battery upgrade, just two hours of charging for up to 22 hours of continuous operation. This is critical for cooking because no one wants a robot to run out of power halfway through frying an egg. To make cooking possible, Tesla has invested massively in what Musk calls the real brain of Optimus, its AI and its arms and hands. Musk has openly admitted that building truly dexterous hands is one of the hardest challenges in humanoid robotics, and mass producing these arms is about 100 times harder than making a standard industrial robot arm. He's even said that engineering Optimus is more difficult than Model X, the Cybertruck, and the Gigafactory, and only slightly easier than Starship. The reason comes down to a simple truth. The world is designed for human hands. Door handles, frying pans, knives, spoons, even something as fragile as an egg, all of it demands an incredibly flexible manipulation system. Musk has repeatedly emphasized that the human hand is an evolutionary miracle, with more than 27 degrees of freedom, controlled by a tendon-like system that's both powerful and precise. If a robot can't solve the hand problem, it will forever be stuck doing performances. And this is exactly where most other robotics companies fail. They can make robots run, jump, box, or play table tennis, but they can't peel an orange or wash vegetables under running water. The tasks people actually want robots to do are left untouched. Tesla is doing the opposite. They're putting Optimus in the kitchen, the most complex, flexible, and human-centered environment there is. Think about something as simple as breakfast, eggs and bacon. The robot has to open the fridge, identify ingredients, hold an egg gently enough not to crack it, turn on the stove, adjust the heat, grab the pan, crack the egg properly, flip it, manage timing, and turn the stove off at the right moment. Every step requires coordination between vision, intelligence, hands, and real-time reflexes. If Optimus can do this, it's no longer an industrial robot. It has stepped into the human world. The difference becomes even clearer when compared with robots in factories. Tesla's robotic arms can weld car frames with absolute precision, but only in a controlled, fixed environment. Put them in a kitchen, where everything is constantly changing, and they would be completely helpless. Optimus was created to deal with exactly that kind of chaos. The journey of the Tesla bot shows an astonishing pace of evolution. From a tech cosplay moment at AI Day 2021 to a clumsy prototype in 2022, then Gen 2 in 2023 that could fold clothes, hold an egg, and wipe tables. By 2024, Optimus was already working inside Tesla factories, sorting batteries and assisting with production. Today, much of its training is focused on practical value in the home. More importantly, as Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized, Optimus can watch instructional videos on YouTube and then transfer those skills into the real world. Thanks to this, in just a single day the robot can acquire dozens, 
even up to a hundred new tasks. This turns the kitchen into an infinitely expandable library of skills. Okay, the final and decisive reason many people might consider buying Optimus isn't just how convenient it is, but this, it can directly generate income. Yeah, what do you think about a robot that can bring in money for you every single day, with durable physical capability, never getting tired, never taking vacation, never asking for a raise? The Tesla bot could be rented out as a robotic worker, taking shifts in factories, handling logistics, cleaning, caring for the elderly, working night shifts, or running small shops. If an Optimus costs under $30,000 and generates around $2,000 per month, then financially, it would pay for itself in just over a year, followed by many years of pure profit. Morgan Stanley, through analyst Adam Jonas, put forward a striking figure. A humanoid robot working at a cost of $5 per hour could replace the work of two humans earning $25 per hour creating a net present value of around $200,000 per robot. If Tesla can deploy this at scale, it's not just a labor improvement, it's the birth of an entirely new economy. Imagine thousands of Optimus robots working in warehouses, retail stores, restaurants, nursing homes, and emergency response teams. Costs would drop dramatically, productivity would skyrocket, and social value would be unlocked at an unprecedented scale. AI energy, and robotics are converging. And Tesla is one of the very few companies building all three pillars at the same time. You know, some people would buy Optimus simply to handle household chores because they don't have the time. Others, however, see Optimus as a business asset. For example, a small food shop could operate almost autonomously. One robot taking orders, one cooking, one serving, and one cleaning. The upfront cost might make you hesitate, but the payback period would be very fast compared to traditional labor expenses. Like every technological revolution before it, humanoid robots will certainly replace some jobs, but they will also create an entirely new ecosystem of professions. This will drive massive demand for robot training, AI programming, maintenance and repair, robot fleet operations engineers, and especially human-machine interface design, so robots can work smoothly alongside people. Elon Musk has chosen to deploy Optimus inside Tesla factories first to prove that the robot doesn't just look smart, but generates real economic value. If you look at its true nature, the arrival of the Tesla bot is not a threat to jobs, but a stepping stone toward a new era of labor, one where humans and robots create wealth together more efficiently than ever before. Okay, so if Tesla bot could reliably cook, clean, and guard your home, would you seriously consider buying one? Drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.